Hello, everyone. So my student today took all of my waiting points, which inspired me to play some games to get them back. So this is a very fun game, which I just played against someone rated in the high 1900s. And there was a very fun idea, which I came up with. Um, the time on show was five minutes, so again, five minutes uh, will not result in perfect chess, but some fun will occur. Okay, let's take a look. D4, D5, the London, my opponent plays here, which is fine. I'm going for the London setup, E3, Bishop F5. Um, usually when they play a bishop f5, it's a little bit harder to arrange an attack on the king's side. I just set up the normal London structure. And he played queen d7, indicating that he probably wants to castle long. Okay, I developed my knight, nothing special. In the perfect world, I have this dream. Uh, the dream will not will never become a reality, especially after he plays f6. f6 prepares ideas like e5 at some point or g5, but it takes away the square from the knight. Okay, I play bishop b5. If he plays a6 and then b5, I kind of want him to do that because then he does not really want to castle long anymore because his king will be open. So he castles immediately. I developed my knight, nothing special. He attacked my bishop, I have no choice, I moved it. And obviously he wants to trap my bishop. And now the question to answer, of course, am I playing h4 or am I playing h3? Um, I thought for a little bit of time I decided I decide to play h3. After h4, I didn't like g4, and then my knight has to come here and come around, which I didn't like. Um, uh, or go here, which I also did not like. I played h3. e6 makes sense. He just wants to finish his development. b4. Okay, uh, two points. One, this might happen. And B, this might happen, either here or here. And I want to play this move um, to bring my knight into the attack. I do not want to block this pawn. And also, the reason I want to move this knight is so that this knight, if attacked, instead of going somewhere like here, might actually also head in this direction. Bishop d6. I don't want him to take me because it will make my pawns look pretty bad. So I took him first. Took back with the queen. I think him with the pawn is not terrible either with the possible idea of this at some point. But he took with the queen. I continued with my attempt to attack. And he played b6, which yes, it stops knight here, but it does create some weaknesses on the light squares, especially considering that his bishop is not coming back. Okay, I start an attack immediately. And this move is strange. I mean, yes, I probably don't want to move my knight because he'll take. I probably don't want to castle. Well, I could castle, but I need to make sure that my queen is here. But at any rate, I don't think I want to castle into this with the idea of g4. So I continue with my plan of attack, and he just ignored me. So I took to open up this line, he took back, and here I came up with a really cool idea. It took me a while to come up with it. Um, but again, this is why it's important to take your time. If you look at the times right now, um, before I played this move, I had 319. I ended up, ended up spending more than 30 seconds on this move. And again, this is why it's so, so useful to take your time. Uh, 
because sometimes one move will be the difference between winning and not winning. And c 5 looks like a crazy move because um, it's just a free knife. But the logic is if he takes I take back, uh, his queen only has one square here, and then his king is out in the open, I can bring in my queen, I can punish him with my rook, and life is just really, really, really good. Uh, so he thought for a while here, again, this is why it's so, um, it's so important to not rush. If he plays quickly, he's just going to die immediately. My threat, by the way, because my knight is covering the squares, is to play rook here, uh, forcing this, and then bishop here is checkmate, which is just really, really, really nice. Um, he plays knight there immediately. Um, and here I had to figure out what to do. I decided to check first, uh, forcing his knight to take. After takes, takes, the point is he obviously cannot take me. That was my original logic. And now once again, I'm threatening mate. So he needs to stop it. So he plays the next knight here. I check, forcing him to block. And then I brought in my queen. My obvious threat is queen here. Checkmate because he spinned and my knight covers. I knew that he would take. I take back. His queen has to move. And now uh, white has one fish and touch. I will pause and let you and let you find it. A number of moves here work. I can try queen here for but King King, this gets a little bit scary. Um again I can check, but now he can run away. So a very, very precise move is what I play, queen c6. And the logic is now he cannot run away. Queen a6 is coming. Again, take advantage of the pin. And there is nothing he can do here. Um, let's say he moves his rook. I check. He runs away. And then rook here is checking. And there is nothing he can do. So he here resigned. Um, this is one of the better games I've played online in recent memory. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned some fun attacking ideas. Um, again, remember the importance of taking your time. And if you're attacking um, with a lot of pieces, like um, here, for example, um, I'm attacking with one, two, three, four. Um, it might be a good idea to start looking at sacrifices, which is what happened here with the knight controlling the square. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, please subscribe, and more exciting material will appear soon. Thank you.